You know, y'all, I'm beginning to understand why they thought that people like us were crazy back in the day. Not that it, that it is justified in any way. I mean, people are just really just sleepwalking, really. And, but, you know, people that awaken and you realize who and what you are and you just, you know, you just be, right? You're, you are representing the one that created you. And we already knew, you know, that, you know, they, they have never liked any person who has come into an illusion representing the truth. <laughs> okay. And so they, you know, if you were able to say, you know, if you were able to be in touch with the things that they are not um, connected to, if you see things in a, in a peculiar way, if you are not part of the illusion, they would call you crazy, a witch, or whatever it is that they are afraid of. <laughs> because me, I always felt like, okay, if somebody, if you think someone is a witch, okay, why, what are you afraid of? What do you think I'm going to do to you? <laughs> Because, you know, I have been a witch before, okay? I have, I, when I was a witch, I was a proud witch, okay? And a witch is just a healer, okay? And so I just evolved. It's just a word, but it, at the end of the day, it's a wise one. And if you are using that wisdom, it's like wisdom beyond what the, the NPCs know about. So the NPCs are like, no, we're going to kill the light. We're going to kill the truth. I mean, the days of that are over. Okay, <laughs> but I was just sitting here thinking like, yeah, you know, because, you know, the people that they, they were calling crazy at that time, like Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, because I'm looking at uh, the painting Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I have a small, um, of course, copy of it on my wall. And, uh, you know, I was fascinated by it because when I look at it, I, I know that he was able to see the energy, like the way that I do. He could see the movement of the energy in the air. When I looked at that painting, I was like, wow, you know, he was chosen. And, I, you know, the light, like the way that he painted the stars, the he, he painted the energy. Okay. And, and then I, but when I, they said that this is the, the view that he saw out of the window from the insane asylum that they put him in because he was peculiar. And so they say that he cut off his own ear and all of that. But of course, when people are able to give the narrative about your life, then of course they're going to, you know, say whatever it is that, that, you know, makes you look the way that they want you to look. Okay. But I say he was brilliant because he saw the energy and he was able to illustrate that. And people who try to dim the light, okay, which is to grieve or quench the Holy Spirit within another person, these people are, you know, filled to the brim with darkness. What is that scripture that says about, you know, the eye being filled with light? And if there, if your eye is filled with darkness, how great is that darkness? You know, this is something that we definitely have to be aware of when a person is filled with darkness. It doesn't matter how, how attractive the shell may look, uh, the vessel, the, the vehicle, whatever you want to call, you know, their physical representation we have to learn to see beyond face value when it comes to people because the lesson is very hard learned okay and so the only reason that people like me come out to give a message such as this is because we have experienced you know this darkness and we wouldn't wish it on our worst enemy. And so, experienced and, by the grace of God, survived this darkness, okay? And 
this is how you become a healer. It's not something, it's not a label that you can just put on yourself. You can't just take another person's information and bust out there and, you know, take their persona and, you know, and, you know, you may be able to memorize and regurgitate the information, but you can't take their soul though. And God planted the seed within the person that you took the information from. And so NPCs, they are like recorders. And you will notice if you start paying attention that a lot of them, this is how they vampire off of your energy. Even if they are, you know, on good terms with you, you know, normally if they're on good terms with you, they will ask a lot of questions about you, your lifestyle, what you do, and be careful not to trust them enough to share the intimate details of your life. I don't care if you do think that they are your, your best friend, your, your lover, your twin flame, whatever you think they are. Don't trust people that come into your life and asking all these personal questions because these are, you know, what, what a lot of people refer to as monitoring spirits. And they are just gathering information that they can use against you to take you down. People who are filled to the brim with darkness, they literally use the fact that you love them against you. They use the fact that you are a generous, loving person against you. Okay? They use the fact that you wish to be truly helpful in whatever way you can to other people because you understand how hard a life can be because you have suffered okay and so the benefit of long suffering in the life of a chosen one is the fact that you garner a lot of wisdom that is needed in order for you to be an effective healer the healer first has to heal the self and in order to heal the self you have to be afflicted Many are the afflictions of the righteous, not because you deserve it, not because you're a bad person, because God needs you to understand the people that he is sending you in to help. He needs you to fully understand. So it is my prayer, regardless of how uh, crazy or convoluted. I'm not going to say that because spirit is never convoluted. <laughs> I actually love the way that I get my messages. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to use that word. Okay. That's not, that was not the correct word. Um, it's just an interesting mix, you know, in the way that my, my messages, cause I see it visually. I'm seeing it. Um, I'm seeing it, I'm hearing it, <laughs> I'm feeling it, I'm loving it, okay? And so I hope it made sense, okay? Honestly, I do hope that uh, you fully understand. Because You know, my laughter is just one of the tools that I use in order to help to raise the vibrations. But at the end of the day, it is a serious matter. Okay. Uh, the joy of God is something that, <laughs> you know, it just overflows. So I've, I've been like this my whole life. <laughs> You know, laughter is good for the soul. And so, yes, I am a, a Hayoka empath. And so, do you know, don't think that I'm crazy because I laugh. Because, you know, they thought Vincent Van Gogh was crazy because, you know, he saw the world in a different way. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm just happy. That's all. You know, and I know that this world is not used to happy people. You know, so many people have just tried to destroy me. Um, just for, you know, having the joy of God within me. But at the end of the day, my people, we will talk more about the long suffering. But at the end of the day, the gift of it is your wisdom and your strength.